today I'm out with the lads again, Andy and Mark, and we're going to uh, Carrick Fell. We're just on our way at the present time to where we were the last time at High Pike, which is just up there. Whoa, just getting our breath a little bit here. It's been a kind of steep climb up this. We've uh, had fantastic views again. We've walked up from the bottom. I don't know if you can pick it up very well with a uh, GoPro, but uh, it was some steep climb. So we're just getting ourselves together. Like I say, High Pike, then the Carrick Fell. So catch up with these, catch you a bit. Here's Andy and Mark, this is the top of the pops. Yeah. <laughs> We've uh, made it to High Pike. This is where we were camped two weeks ago, believe it or not. I couldn't believe that photo only last week. Well, this is where we were camped last week, just here. There's the seat I was sitting on with a cup of tea. But we're just resting here, then we're going to Carrick Fell, which is a big hill up there. That's it there. Carrick Fell, down there. So we're going up there now. Off <sighs> giving the legs a good work on this. I feel a lot better this week. Um, so. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with myself, I'm very pleased with my fitness today and uh, but we haven't finished <laughs> so we've got that stretch to do and we'll get on with it Right, we've come from right over there which is High Pike and uh, we've got up there to go um, that's round knot so we just stopped here to get our bearings. That's Carrick Fell up there, that's where we're heading. And we just think there's enough room for three tents, so we may have to come down, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I better catch up with these, <laughs> catch in a bit. Bye. Well, we've just come through this boggy area here, sinking, <laughs> testing who's the heaviest, who goes down the furthest. Anyway, that's where we are. But uh, still a kind of climb up. Carrick fell. So, there's the lads. Getting ready for the last push. We had quite a walk, right? Further than before. When you get up, when you get up on top of um, high seat, right up there, and you're looking over, it's the dead ground. It's a lot of dead ground that makes it look not as far away. <laughs> anyway, we'll crack on. Well, hello there. We've arrived at the top, this is Carrick Fell and uh, it's high, it's right at the, I think it's 661 metres, I think so. So anyway, I'll give you a little look at the surrounding place and see for absolute miles. That's high seat over there, so we've come down from. Absolutely fantastic views, wow. And the lads are just busy looking for a pitch now. So, going to look for a pitch, starting to get a bit nippy. Yeah, and uh, see what we'll find. Right, we've managed to get pitched. Um, I'm in a new lightweight tent, uh, the Onion. Uh, I've just been learned how to pronounce it. Onion. Onion 2. That's it there. It's the first time out in it. But um, yeah, it's good. So I'm quite pleased with it. I'll show you my setup. Um, the ground sheet on the onion doesn't come with the porch bit. It just cut the ground sheet just comes up to the bed area. The inner tent area. Um, it's obviously for the lightness. It's only 1.8 kilograms. Um, this is my setup. I've got a bargain. When I'm by myself and I normally like having a bargain so I can get bits and pieces out. I've got the Seat of Summit mattress. Really nice mattress. I like that. Seat of Summit pillow. We're having the Trino 800 winter bag. Um, got all my cook stuff down there. Yeah, it'd be a, I'm planning on it being a good lightweight tent for long trail walks. 
Um, this is it. This is what I like. Nice and roomy inside. Light, and that'll be ideal. Right. That's that. Let's see it. Onion to Nandies in his black label. Salute. Like a bloody fort. Really nice. Not even budging. Nice strong tent. Is that the first time you've been out in it, Andy? Uh, it's his first outing in it. Total Pardon? Total he says it's total overkill, but <laughs> it'll still be standing. He's cooking his meal at the present. Once this wind gets above 15 miles an hour, we'll pat it. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, Andy will have to pack up. <laughs> he marks in his... Um, I keep forgetting the name of it. It's an old kit tent. It's a nice one. Are you cooking, Mark? I am, yes. Got the There's more cooking away. Doing dumplings, I think. Is it dump dumplings? Beef stew and dumplings, yeah. Yeah. Right, I think I'll go get mine on, Mark. Might as well while it's, but, um, it's drizzling a bit. Easy the past couple of weeks with the, the boiling the bike wheels, you know? Aye. And I've missed my pot of food, so I'm even up for this week. No, I've got a pouch one, but I've got uh, I've also got a sausage sandwich as well. <laughs> I made it home, eh? <laughs> right. No. Yeah, yeah. Being a canny walk today, mind. Good walk. But I honestly needed it and I enjoyed it, to be honest. Uh, I've, got, I've got a pack meal today, so I'm going to have that. I'll go and get mine on, Mark. So I'll get the cooking on now. We're not far for Ken. We're just like 30 foot ish away from the Ken. Uh, I thought we were going to have trouble getting pictures, but we managed great. Not too bad at all. We missed all the big stones that was around the tent. Got another tip about the old kit pegs, get them in nice and tight. And these pitch there. Just, just fitting in amongst the stones, that's it. And uh, we've all done quite well. Like I say, there's the cane. Hiya. Yeah, I've just had my tea. So I better check my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I've just had my tea. It was just one of them um, uh, dried packaged meals, um, and I've had a sausage sandwich that I made at home. Um, I'm just relaxing in, in my tent and just uh, putting it up. This is going to be my lightweight tent from now. Um, I really like it. I've just been told how to pronounce the word. I was calling it the Anjan 2. It's the Anion 2, apparently, Andy says. That's how you pronounce it, Anion. I mean, the, I don't know how it spells that. <laughs> it just, anyway, just to show you my tent, my setup. That's the, on this one, on the Anion, it's a lightweight tent, so you only get like the mesh like that um opens up like that. Uh, the footprint only comes as far as the bed here just to here and that leaves a bit of a space there obviously that's the save weight as well well that's my how i set it up today just my stove in there my boots over there and i've got my um pack in here that's the way i like it that's the way I like it. I mean, I could put my pack in, in the porch if I wanted to, um, but I normally just leave it there when I'm um, out by myself anyway. Um, apart from that, that's everything. I'm just lying up there. Working it out. I mean, it's getting a good test today because it's very windy outside and it's raining. So, and it's on top of a hill. 661 meters i think it is something like that one take one or two meters but um it's holding up really good i like it um 
I really do like it for a summer tent, three season, three season tent, yellow label. I do like it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll have a bit of a rest. Well, hello there. Well, just getting back from uh, Mark's tent. Uh, having a good laugh and a crack. Talking to Mark and um, Andy. Real good fun and good company. <laughs> so I'm in, in the tent, getting ready for bed. Um, my views on the tent is, it's definitely a three season tent because a lot of things are a lot lighter, especially with just the mesh on the, on the door here, you haven't got like a solid door. Um, guide ropes are thinner, obviously. So it is a three season tent, but it's a strong three season tent. And uh, I admit, I like the setup. I like the space and I like it. I like it. It's, it's what I like. And uh, I'm, very, I'm very pleased with this. So, <sighs> another good night with Mark and Andy. <laughs> Funny as hell, the stuff they come up with is great. So I'm gonna get my head down and uh, see you in the morning. By the way, it is absolutely misty outside. It's like that thick mist and it's like, you know, them horrors where the werewolves come and that. It's oh God, ooh. Right, see you in the morning, bye. Well, good morning. Just um, getting up, having a cup of tea, and uh, getting sorted out. It was a um, bit of a windy night, but not too bad. The, the new tent I've got, the uh, Onion 2, is uh, it's not a touch of condensation on the sides. It's absolutely great. I was. I was a little bit concerned about the um, draft coming through the bottom, you know, the gaps. But you don't really feel anything, and uh, the air, air circulation is uh, fantastic. So I'm really pleased with that. No condensation at all. Really good. That, that's a bonus if you wanted to get away quick to pack up. At least you know your, you know, the inside of your tent's drying, and the tent's going to be okay. Oh, anyway. A bit cloudy outside at the present. Um, I think the sun's trying to, you can feel it, it's a bit warmer, the sun's trying to break through the cloud. Anyway, I'll give you a look. There we go, there's outside. There's a cane over there. Bit misty like but um right over there bit misty but it is a great spot I really enjoyed it you can see for miles all over the place well hello there that's just all packed up all the tents are away just had a big uh, down blast of uh, rain so we waited until the rain had stopped and uh, we got our tents down Anyway, that's where my fix was. Nice and tidy. Just a bit flattened heather, that's all. The lads all ready, all right. They all packed away. So, we'll get off and uh, I'll put this at the end of my video. Well, I'll leave this at the end. So, catch you later, catch you on the next one, bye.